Now, we 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Want to get right over to you now and talk about this intense heat. First of all, it's nice out there this morning. Absolutely, but it doesn't that's our feel Alabama A&M camp. It doesn't feel as nice as it looks, though. <laughs> no, it certainly <laughs> does not. It's warm this morning. Yeah. It's very muggy this morning. But by this afternoon, we're feeling right back in the low 100s. Whew, that is hot. The good news is there's a change in the air. Oh, It's oh. not coming today, but it's coming it's soon. It's coming. <laughs> All right, take a look right now. The Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, looking real good this morning. Beautiful sky out there, hardly a cloud for most of us, a few over Lake Gunnersville, and those temperatures sitting in the mid-70s. Despite the fact that we're just in the mid-70s, it's very, very muggy this morning with barely any breeze. And like we talked about with Chris, by this afternoon, we'll be feeling like the low 100s. So if you're sending your kids to school today, if you're headed out the door to work and you're planning on spending any amount of time outside, Side, whether that's for recess, for work, or for lunch, make sure you're wearing the right clothing. Drink lots of water, maybe bring a baseball hat or sunglasses to keep the sun off your face, and throw in the light-colored, loose-fitting clothing as well. Even if school is cold for some kids, anytime they spend outside, it's going to be very hot today. 31 triple Doppler at 547 on your Tuesday morning is dry from rain. That little cell you're seeing in Blunt County is feedback. That is not rain. And just a scan or two, that one will be gone. By the time we get to this afternoon at lunchtime, 90 degrees, already feeling in the upper 90s. Our high temperature today, 96 degrees, feeling like up to 105. We're going to keep the sunshine, keep a breeze out of the north, though slight, and keep the stunning lack of rain. So honestly, today's forecast, not very different from yesterday's. You're taking a live look at Toyota Field right now and the trash pandas are back today in Madison and I cannot wait. Honestly, it's not a bad get night for a ball game. Now I'll go ahead and tell you the first couple innings you're going to be sweating sitting in the low 90s muggy. It's definitely going to feel quite hot. However, by the time the sun sets and we get to the last play of the game, well, we'll be sitting in the low 80s at that point. We're going to keep our breeze strong throughout this evening. Typically we see those breezes die off overnight, but it's going to stick with us just a little bit. So it will be quite comfortable by the time we get to the last several innings of the game and definitely well before the seventh inning stretch. So I say it's a good night to spend at the ball field. Our pollen levels are back in the medium category, something we all need to be mindful of as those fall allergies come back into the forecast because we needed one other thing to make the forecast even better, right? It is grass pollen for this time of the year. And then that change in the forecast I've been telling you about. It is a cold front and it'll move through the region later this week. Now, typically cold fronts bring us rain. This one will not, unfortunately, and it's going to drop our temperatures a little bit, but it's mostly dropping our humidity. We're feeling like 104 tomorrow, so essentially copy cat conditions Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but Thursday we're feeling like 100 Friday. The hottest of us will top out feeling like 99. Several of us will only feel like the mid 90s and that'll be the coolest we've been in over a week. So yes, still summertime in the valley without question, but any improvement is good improvement. An update on Tropical Storm Debbie sitting in Savannah now. We watched it make, make landfall yesterday exactly at 6 a.m. on Way 31 Morning News as a Cat 1 hurricane, now a tropical storm. It's going to extend into the Atlantic, then track north and west into Charleston, South Carolina, and continue to track north towards Washington, D.C. From there, several folks could see up to 30 inches of rain with this line because it is moving so slow, only 7 miles an hour. That's how the system is moving as a whole. So bringing a whole lot of torrential rain over and over and over again to the Carolinas. We're keeping the humidity, but take a look at that cold front and those temperatures. We're in the upper 80s this weekend, and in fact, our wake-up temperatures are in the low 60s.